Hello everybody, 2000 Trains here and after a long absence from YouTube I'm back again train spotting, albeit not in London here at Swansea, otherwise known as Abatawe where you'll be seeing services from Great Western Railway as you can see here and Transport for Wales, which we don't see at the moment right here is the, ser is the 1223 service to London Paddington this will be calling at, at Neath Port Talbot Parkway, Bridge End, Cardiff Central, Newport, Bristol Parkway, Swindon, London Pennington, no, Swindon, Reading, and London Pennington. How could I forget the place of the festivals? <laughs> so, like I said earlier, I've been kind of absent from YouTube, more so because obviously, since I'm a uni student, I had exams coming up so train spotting and exams juggling those two wouldn't be doable so i've done my exams and back out train spotting so let me just quit yattering and cut to the chase and hopefully see what action shall unfold so without further ado let the train spotting commence I just started early to play it safe, so this will be the service departing for London Paddington at 12.23, it's now 12.22, so I'm just going to do the awkward pause as we have a seagull landing onto the platform. I don't know why the seagull wants to go on a train when it can actually just fly to, fly anywhere really, it can fly to Carmarthen, it can fly to Lanelli. It can fly to Port Talbot, it can fly anywhere, and it's on the track. Claiming its territory, and nope, it's flying away. That's an Envirobot working the 34 service, I think. Don't know where it's heading off to. This train. In fact, I'm not going to call out the numbers because you can see it obviously. In fact, let me try and see if I can zoom in. There we go. You can see it clearly, so I'm not going to say it because it's just going to be on the nose. <laughs> so, come on. 1223, 1223, 1223, 1223. Yep, it's now 1223. I think this train should be ready to depart, and. Yep, it is. The sounds of the door being locked as the norm. A2409, A23009, A22009, and the same number that I called out earlier, or I showed you earlier, and that's working the 1223 service to London Paddington. And just an FYI, this is exactly the train that I took from London all the way to Hightailer here. Albeit, most of the Hightailing was done between London Paddington and Bristol because after Bristol Parkway, you can only go like 75 to 100 miles per hour. It's only the section that I mentioned before where you can really give it a full throttle of 125. And speaking of that, I have a long journey, I have a full journey video in the works. From London Paddington to here so once I'm able to get around to editing all that it should be uploaded so yeah <laughs> I think that's all I can say now so let's skip to where we see the next train coming in which should be a 1234 service terminating service from London Paddington to here <laughs> funny how I said that all right coming in is that said train that I said earlier the 1234 terminating service from London Paddington Working this train, working this service here or terminating here is 800.305. Not too many in the way of people on the train, although when I did come here, there was quite, and there was quite a number. 
quite a number god damn it i can't get my words right <laughs> it was quite whatever i guess you guys can figure out what i'm trying to say i just can't get my words out because my iq is below 100 i think and we end it with coach number 829005 very nice all right coming in now is the transport for Wales service to Carmarthen or Manchester Piccadilly in fact let me check on real time trains just quickly coming in here is 175108 complete with some heavy ass engines and a nice looking livery There we have 34, welcome to service from Castle Ned. I'm just making that out by what's advertised on the bus. Coming here, as we have, jolly good timing. We have another 175, welcome to service to Milford Haven. The one that I said was going to Carmarthen is actually going to, to Manchester Piccadilly from Milford Haven. Those engines sound intense and the fumes it produces are well surprisingly beautiful that's all I can say <laughs> so like the other train which has just turned blue on its headlights this train will do the same as well as it's going to reverse outwards I'm not gonna lie it would have been interested how this station would look if if it was electrified in the in the early 1990s my guess is that it would probably be headspan configuration all the way from from here well on the platforms obviously you have headspan configurations on the platform and then as you go up it then becomes that's that traditional cantilever design the ones you see on the east coast main line and on the west coast main line but that's like north that's beyond the northwest region when you're going up into scotland but since it wasn't electrified then this is what we have and the route is just only as electrified as far as cardiff central there's been plans to to extend electrification to here but for some unforeseen for some reason they had to cut it down they had to cut the plan down so yeah <laughs> that's all i can say on the matter and i think yep that train has reversed that train has changed its headlights to to light blue whatever i'm talking folly let me just skip to the one the train actually goes all right, the party now is a presume and service for Manchester Piccadilly, I think. I think I think it is Manchester Piccadilly because this was the train that came in earlier. The one that came on the outside probably was bound for somewhere else. I just hope I don't get horned at because that will scare the hell out of me. If a train was to actually horn, I probably might end up doing 
what PewDiePie does when something scary happens swearing Swedish and speaking of train horns the triple four it will always be the one that scares the hell out of me lovely one thing I have to note here is the fact that these platforms here don't have a yellow line at all as you can see just letting you know only that only that platform there has the yellow line give it provided on it so eh, whatever I think I've yatted on enough and I think there should be a train departing for Manchester Piccadilly or Milford Haven anytime soon and the sun comes out quite lovely bit more awkward silence here <laughs> in fact while I'm doing the awkward silence I could at least do I hear noises? no that that probably might have been a no is a plaxton pointer operated by first group first south wales complete with a lively hoover don't know why i had to pause before i said it <laughs> whatever what i was saying is that while i'm doing the awkward no let's stop it this train's already departing now and i hope it doesn't horn because i don't like train horns they literally scare the shit out of me <laughs> all right so this is 175109 thank god it didn't horn because that would scare the hell out of me with a nice thumbs up from the driver and some nice stompage on the tracks here because i literally felt the platform go boom 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 <laughs> as we have a B9TL on number four, I presume, working a service to Morriston Hospital, which is just further up. And it's literally near the M4. So as those two ve so I'll watch as those two vehicles bugger, bugger off. All right, about to depart soon will be the 1323 serv GWR service from here to London Paddington. Whenever it's ready. And I think it's ready to go. Not gonna lie, this train. People say that this train looks like a cucumber, but if anything, it looks like a fierce green bird. Coach H, Coach G. Coach D, Coach C, Coach B, and Coach A. Not too many people going towards London Paddington, and I could see the first class reservation tickets. Right, coming in now is the delayed service from London Paddington. It's meant to come here at 13.33, but instead decided to come here at 13.41. Stomping his way in is Henry Cleary, 
800 030. One, two, three, four, five. Oddly enough, it's a five car formation. Lincoln. Damn it, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the nameplate of the second nameplate. I was able to get the first one, but the second one, not a chance. Or I could just walk it down like I'm doing right now and see if I can catch it. And who knows, I might take a photo of it and upload it onto Instagram. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. They stop. Good girl, you stopped. Now I can get that name plate. Let me go a bit. No public access, vehicle movement area. Okay, that's not what I'm here for. Lincoln Calicam. And I'm trying to read all those smaller details but I can't seem to make sense of it. Well, I'll take a photo now. There we go. The next train to arrive at platform one will be the 1354 Transport for Wales, service to Manchester Piccadilly, calling at Neath, Port Talbot Parkway, Bridge End, Cardiff Central, Newport, Cumbran, Abergavenny, Hereford, Leinster, Ludlow, Craven Arms, Church Stretton, Shrewsbury, Wen, Whitchurch, Nantwich, Crewe, Wilmslow, Stockport, and Manchester Piccadilly. Platform 1 for the 1354 Transport for Wales, service to Manchester Piccadilly. When boarding the train, please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. <laughs> One of the longest announcements I've ever heard. I have a lot to say about this. First of all, I did not have a clue what the first guy said. He was speaking Welsh, and I don't know the Welsh language, so... I don't know. Luckily, the second part gave me the translation. But the issue I have with the announcement, with the translation, that is, is that when it comes to, to, the, to the tone of the voice, the lady sounds polite at first, but when it says transport for Wales it sounds she sounds like she's passive aggressive or she's angry like the train to depart from platform one is the 1227 transport for Wales service to Manchester Piccadilly and the usual stuff it's also the same for Great Western Railway as well and I think it's with it's worse when it comes to Great Western Railway like let me try and make up an announcement the train to depart from platform three is the 1324 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington calling at Neath, Port Talbot Parkway, Bridge End, Cardiff Central, 
Newport. Oh, sure. I was just doing my own announcement. You have your own time for it. Let me just say over it. Newport, Bristol Parkway, Reading and London Paddington. The 1324 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. That's my only criticism about the announcement. <laughs> It's interesting how they go for a five car configuration. The next train to arrive at platform one will be the 1354 transport for Wales. Service You see what I'm talking about now. One moment it sounds polite and then it just sounds passive aggressive. <laughs> I'll just skip to the part when the train comes. All right, coming in now is is a 175 service I think working a service to Manchester Piccadilly in complete in its old livery and I must say the livery does look very graceful 175 triple one very gracious indeed this is a hard one I don't know which livery I prefer the Transport for Wales one, or this one I'm seeing right now, looks very, very graceful. Hopefully I should be able to ride on these trains before they get before they get taken over by the Stadler units. And we'll see how it all goes out. It's taking as well. It's taking its time to come to a stop. And it has come to a stop. Alright, departing now is the service from Carmarthen to Manchester Piccadilly. This train will be going by Gloucester, by Hereford, Church Stratton. And where else will it go? Where else will it go? It will join the West Coast Main Line at Crewe. Yep, he will join it at Crewe and then follow on the branch line to Manchester Piccadilly via Winslow and Stockport. As we have the new, the newer yet corporate looking livery, 175104. This is working a service from Manchester Piccadilly to Carmarthen. I'm going to be honest with you once the Stadler units come in and they have the same livery as this train that's coming in now how will you be able to differentiate transport for Wales from Greater Anglia because they both have red doors and more or less the red white color scheme actually so how are you going to distinguish between them as usual taking his time to come to rest Mucho brillante. All right, departing now is the service to Carmarthen. That deep engine growl really made me smile.
and of course to top that off some lovely Flangstowns. As I'm not sure if you can make it out but we have an Envirobot probably working the 34 from somewhere or is it? No I don't think it's 34 I think it might be, it might not be let's take a look yep it's 34 coming from Castle Ned And our final train of the day is an odd looking 153333. And I think it's called a rail car, not a train. Although a rail car is a kind of train, if you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I had to switch up to my phone at the last bit because my tablet just died out. <laughs> Should have charged it earlier before coming out. But what can you do? It just came at the last minute. So, as the train tucks itself neatly, I should end the video here. So, thank you guys for watching this video. It's greatly appreciated. If you like what you see today, then please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can keep up to date with the content that will be uploading. Also, if you leave a comment, don't worry that I don't respond to them immediately. I will when I get the chance to. So, my opinion of Swansea Station, it's quite good, it's quite a decent station, it gives the patriotic vibe of Wales, you have red, you have, you have the red handles on the seats, you have the red strip on all the, all the lampposts at the station, and you have the green roof covering, which only applies on the side, it doesn't apply on the top, but still, it's a nice station. The only criticism I have is that the trains here aren't very frequent. They're like, what, 50, every 15 minutes or so? So, I don't know. If you if you have enough patience, then you can train spot here. Otherwise, if you're not the type, if you're not the kind of person who can wait for so long while train spotting, I wouldn't advise it. But regardless here, I've enjoyed my time here. And I probably might come back to the station at some stage because I'm still staying I'm still staying at Swansea Uni for the next two years. So yeah, I think that's all I can say. All I can what I can also say though is that I don't I don't even know what I even want to say. <laughs> what I wanna say is that it'll be interesting to see how this station will look in a few years' time if overhead electrical equipment comes here. So I think that's all I can yetter on about before I say anything dumb. So like I said, like, subscribe, hit the notification button for more videos. So until you hear from me, 2000 trades here, I should see you guys later. Peace out guys and take care.